Hello, everybody, and welcome to Homeward Bound. How are you guys doing today? Doing well. Good to be back. We're back, yeah. Good times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a couple months, I think, since we last played. Um, I it expected... been a couple of months? It's been at least... It's been more than 30 days, for certain. Possibly 60 days since we've played. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so... Where did we leave off? We um, fled the lighthouse near Saltport after the uh, the close fight with that one remaining demon. Mm -hmm. um, Grimes got a look at it. It seemed like that the flesh boat had docked on the shore and was just spreading its fleshy substances all over that were sort of like taking over the ground. So we made a run for it, went back down to Fort Pass, Kind of without sleeping, so I think we realized we don't really need to sweep sleep. Um, we learned to cross rivers by cutting down trees. Then there was this weird screeching noise that went on for a while, and we eventually went to the Knolls forest there and found Zara, and essentially told her that we think the demons were off. Like there's demons here. We're not sure what's going on. She she had six pups with her, and she agreed to come with us, and we were going to go to the. Uh, the Scrag Caves. And that's when you were attacked. Yes, yeah. we led the demons right to Dara and the Knolls. But you defeated the demons that came for you. Of right? course yeah. we did. It was it just was the just dogs, a... right? We... Mm -hmm. we, Yeah. The yeah. thongs. Yeah, a pack of many, thongs. Many thongs were slain, and I think our plan was to flee with the Knolls before any bigger, badder demons show up. Now, do you remember crimes where the entrance was was it here or was it here i i think it was the top valley but you know it's the top valley yeah we'll have to find out neil smirk leads me to believe that it's not the top valley <laughs> but i think that's <laughs> where we're going to start yeah okay. actually we're on this side of the river so maybe we're better off oh that's a good point yeah following well, this river yeah not crossing we can cross at the end because there's trees there so we can be able to cut down yeah. a tree to cross I climb up and over the mountain. Yeah. All right. All right. So you, who do you want to be your controlling token? I can give you any token you want. It's, a, it's Nimrod, right? Okay. It's going to be Nimrod? Yeah. Because yeah. we've got Nimrod and the dogs. How many dogs do we have left? Eight. They're on the bottom up. Yeah. We've got eight dogs. Is it eight? Sure. No, can we just check that they're on the bottom up so we can see? All right, all right. I feel Where like every it? single one of these dogs is very important to me. Okay. I eight. count eight yeah. dogs. Okay. Including Nimrod or not including Nimrod? Not including Nimrod. Nimrod. He is, he is not quite a dog. He's a... Not quite a dog, but not quite a man. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we've got quite the party. You asked for your followers, Cal William. Yeah, this is it, yeah. Eight dogs, a kobold, and a null. Okay. And six null pups. Oh yeah, and six null pups and a thief. Mm -hmm. A bandit. A common rogue. Did you just refer to another <laughs> player character as one of your followers? <laughs> In addition to referring to me as a common rogue. Yeah, no, you're not a common rogue. You're level 11, that's... Uh, yes. Anything He's but common. An exceptional rogue, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so where are you guys headed? Draw me a line. Draw well, me magic. I did, I did draw. I think we're avoiding crossing rivers, so we're gonna. Although I guess we may have had a crossing that we used to get to the forest. Yeah, there's a bridge in the forest that the Nulls had made, if I remember correctly. Oh uh, yeah. But uh, let's go. Let's go. I think the line you've drawn is good. Yeah, I think we just beeline west, west as quickly as we can, following the river. Okay. It is fleeing the nobles' homeland. It is dark out. It is nighttime as always. There are no the the only stars in the sky are in that like small circular region to the far north or what used to be north. Um, there are no other stars. There's no, There's moon. no moon, right? Yeah. yeah, it's just cold darkness forever and no real sense of time as you march and march and march and march in the endless dark and cold. Uh, but it's not really we, that uh, cold. It's just sort of. Eh. We have our magical. You've got your armor. It keeps you warm. 
the land is already melting anyway, or has already melted, so it's not that cold, but it's just the endless void surrounding you at all points in time. And uh, you make your way Wait, along I think we should river. take a night to sleep when we get to the forest just to recover our woods, before just in case we run into anything in here. Agreed? Sure. Do we don't get tired, right? And neither do our companions. Correct. Are Zara and the pups on the sled or walking beside us? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. How does Zara transport? Do we have a sled? Pups? I think we just have a pack of dogs and Nimrod riding them. Yeah, yeah. there's no sled. There's no sled. Uh, you said there are eight pups. Well, there are eight I dogs. Six, I think there were six pups. Six pups. But six pups, pups and eight dogs plus a Nimrod. Each dog, each pup can hold on to the back of a dog, and ride it like a wolf, because they're pretty nice. small. <laughs> this is adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Yeah. So let's have a night's rest um, when we get to the edge of the forest before we enter it. Okay. Uh, you do make it to the woods right here at the very edge and you can camp and go to sleep. Your night passes quickly. You each regain eight HP, no problem. Do we still hear that shrill shrieking sound? No, it seems to have vanished. I mean, every now and then when the wind is just right, actually there's not very much wind. So no, um, you don't hear it. Maybe every so, now and then you think you hear it, but it could just be a memory. So it eventually faded out though, it didn't stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we got far enough south that... Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. so, yeah. Um, okay. Is there any banter with Zara, or is she resigned to her fate? Uh, let's see. It's been a while. I can't remember what you've said with her. You've <laughs> both agreed that this is a bad place to be in, and you all want to get home. Yeah. Um... She has expressed that she can no longer hear the voice of her goddess and can no longer use any of her spells. Yeah. Um, we told her about the orb. We told her we killed most of the Scruggs. Right. I think all information has been genuinely exchanged at this point in time. Like, no one's holding back any more secrets from each other. No, I don't uh, think so. Okay. But I, I also think she's not saying much on these, like, long walks. Yeah. You guys have been she's here... I mean, you don't know how long you've been here. You could have been here a couple of months already. So she's, everyone's adjusted to the the nightmarish landscape. It must have been a couple of months because like the walk from the, the original Scrag Hole to Saltport and back, I mean, that takes a while, right? Mm-hmm. And we definitely stopped in Conquest for a bit. I mean, if you were to just beeline it, you know, that's 200 miles. Yeah. And you did not beeline it. No. Yeah. All right. So I can't remember where the cave was. I can't remember if it was at the river's mouth or if it just was near the river or what. So we might just have to. It look was for at it. the end of the valley, but I don't remember if it was this valley or the next one up. Yeah. Same. Okay. So I think we trek in through the woods. Okay. Follow the river to its mouth. You enter the woods. You follow the river to its mouth. It takes, who cares how long? It's just the same bleak landscape and same bleak sky forever and ever and ever. Now there's um, mountains and trees, although I guess- They're so hard to, to see. see. Yeah. You don't really notice things until you're basically right up on them. Uh, or if they can like clip into that section of sky that has stars, you can sort of make them out then, but only by negative space. Um, and you gotta be, you know, due south of them. So in this case, you come into the river, and sure enough, the mountains begin to block the stars in front of you. And uh, the river sort of just breaks up into multiple streams and waterfalls that flow into it out of the mountains from all over the place, but you see no entrance or cave. Is it, is it easy enough to like circle around the river at its source, or is that even harder? Yeah, no, like at this point, you're on like high mountain, or you're like up in hills but the rivers are much, much smaller, so you can cross them. It's difficult to rain. It would probably take you, you know, an extra four or five hours to cross up here in these hills, but what is time to eternal beings like yourselves that with no concept of time? And I yeah. guess we cross and... Yeah. 
hug the mountains, circle up through this valley. There's, mm, I can't even really see the mountains to plan a course, so I think we just stick to the hills. Yeah, plus we've got dogs with us, so it's going to be pretty difficult to cross the mountains. Mm -hmm. You hug the mountains, come down along the other side, and sure enough, you come across that same cave entrance that you did a lifetime ago. This is the one, because we we opened up the volcano here and then traveled down south into the Scrags, right? Yeah, this is where we entered. Yeah. For the uh, final battle. Yeah. It may have caved in behind us, though. We didn't well, stick around to find out because the lava was rising. Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah. All right. Uh, you enter the the cave, uh, walk on in, and after another indiscriminate, endless walk in silence with your dogs and your gnolls and your kobold, you come across sort of like a, a big just mound of hardened rock that fills up the, the tunnel. Dead end. Yeah, lava has come out, flowed to a certain point, and sort of just stopped. Shit. And cooled, and the tunnels filled in. We're gonna have to find the entrance that we left from after fighting them. Yeah, well, while we're here, we'll thoroughly search it. I'll pull out my gem of true seeing, look for anything that we may be missing, any gaps in the path. Secret entrances, or just a crack small enough to squeeze through. You get to the top of this like foot that comes out, and you can actually crawl maybe another forty or fifty feet back and through this like small air area where you gotta like you know press your belly against the ground and your back against the ceiling. Um, but it doesn't go in too far. You know, it just eventually closes up and fills at the top. The, the rock is mm-hmm. rough. Scrapes up your hands somewhat, but probably don't even feel it anymore. Mm. That's what gloves are for. Mm-hmm. All right. No Grimes. go, uh, Grimes, no? Jimmy's his way back out. Now it narrows about 40 feet ahead. I don't think there's a way through. We're going to have to find the place where we came out after the battle. Right. You head back out. So Someone... I believe that was here. Which means crossing a lot of rivers. Well, there are trees mm. at just about every river crossing if you plan your journey right. Yeah, so hook the edge of this forest. Yep. Like around the edge of the mountains. Yeah, so just... I think we make our way out to this. Uh... Oh, is that what we want to do? Okay. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And then down here, there's the uh, the other dragon's lair that we never... Well, did we loot that one? Is that one of the ones we did loot? Yeah, no, maybe we did loot that one. But there's still the main dragon's lair that we can go to if the orb doesn't prove useful. Is that this X up here? Or we... This is the... Wait, let's see. Yeah, no, we've done this one. It's the... It's Frostbikes, isn't it? Which is, like, over by the first volcano that where uh, Yaramir and Faris died. We've only, let's see, have we been to Gale's Lair? It got a bit confusing because I think one of the other dragons attacked us while we were in, no. Yeah, I think it's Gale's Lair that we went to. It's this one, I think, isn't it? The one by the Scrags. You have been to two dragon lairs, right? Yeah, I think because yeah. we killed that one on the mountain that was asleep. I think we went to its lair, and then one of the other dragons attacked us while we were in there. Is that right? Yeah. How did you get to the other dragons there? You climbed to right, and that's where Amelie died. Yeah. yeah. We're we're trying to remember if that it's was. It's got to be the one with the X through it. Okay, right? so we haven't been to this lair over here. Which one? It's got to be the one with the X through it. Which one are you pointing out, Ryan? The He's one pinging one. one that's. Says Gale. Okay, down here. Oh, maybe it was that one then. That we I don't to. think we ever finished off that dragon, but it they may have retreated. They weren't able to fly here or something. We've killed two. There's two left. One of them is definitely Frostbite, and one of them is that one that we already fought twice. Mm-hmm. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think it was Gale's lair that we went to. 
I think it was the dragon at the X that attacked us in Gale's lair. It was Gale's the one that we killed on the mountains. Oh, I don't know, man. Fucking dragons. They all look the same to me. Mm hmm. So we walk. Yeah. And I think we build crude log bridges over each of these rivers. All right. The endless yeah. time passes. You make your way. How far do you want to go? Here? Further? Uh, the next Down here? We, yeah, we want to go to the Scrag Lair. Which I think it's it's here. this one, isn't it? I think it's. I think you've taken a right way. You should have taken a left, Neil. It's here, isn't it? Come down here. All right. Yeah. It doesn't seem to really matter. There's really no sense of time that passes. Just yeah. the endless march forward and forward and forward and forward, and the cold, like not even cold, just empty uh, yeah. sky and empty everything. Our souls are empty as well. It sort of feels like hopelessness is setting in. Is this uh, as as you're getting here, and you've been sort of marching in silence for a long time. Um, I'd like to check in with each of our characters here. Is um, is this hell? No people, no, nothing to eat, nothing to drink, nothing to do, having no needs, but also like nothing of enjoyment anywhere, an endless empty void of darkness with monsters chasing you and howling after you with no purpose in sight no hope yeah the thought has crossed my mind it's definitely crossed my mind i think someone said it as a joke originally but in the last battle when i fought the last scribe charged me and knocked me out while i killed it and then i like i woke up then being dragged out of the cave by grimes being like oh yeah everything's done we've killed all the scribes the world's saved and then the snow melted it does kind of feel like a dream right like maybe you just died then like i know it's not because we're all both here and i don't think you two would self indulge me indulge me so much as to <laughs> you don't think ryan and i would get together to pull a long con on you by pretending this is not hell <laughs> yeah. but i think definitely uh at least from william's point of view always tries to have a goal to focus on so you don't have to worry too you know you don't have to think too much about the impending doom around you but we're slowly running out of things to call goals and it's almost just like hopelessness there's nowhere to nothing to aim for yeah I've certainly done enough in my life to uh, deserve <laughs> this eternal torment. Yeah. I think we're just trying not to ask those difficult questions. Fair enough. And trudging on. There's no demons nipping at our heels, are there? No not howls yet. of thongs in the distance. No, you haven't seen them in a while. The screeching of the eye man. Just <laughs> open, endless silence. You find the scrag hole and walk on in. This is the hole we came out of, right? This was the hill that we looked out over the valley yeah. when we first yeah, came yeah, to this place. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I saw the strange stars in the sky. Yeah, it's, God, it's either this or this one, and I don't remember which one. It's one of these two. But it doesn't really matter because you don't really know where you're walking anyway. It's pitch black. You think you're in this canyon. You might be in this canyon. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Um, but you walk on in through the tunnel and yeah. once again find it filled up with lava and cooled and hardened. Ah, shit. So what, the orb's just been destroyed? Yeah. That dragon lives around here, Grimes. That one that tried to kill us twice. I nod. If it's left to go wherever Frostbite went to, maybe it's less still full of loot. It is treasure to us here. Mm, could be, uh... Climbing these mountains in the dark would be suicide. <sighs> if there's any way out of this place, it's got to be magic, right? Neither of us are wizards last time I checked, so... Some sort of magic item is about the only thing I can think of that might help us. Or a magic ship. A ship, yeah. A crystal ball, maybe. Some way to send a message to people back home. You think they'd come for us, even if... Even if you could reach them? Hell, they point, left us in who to die. You? Yeah, at this point, just being able to send a message to my wife would make me feel better. 
even if it doesn't mean anyone coming to help. Your your knoll speaks up and asks, "Who would help you?" The kingdom of Dracus. <laughs> Admittedly, it is quite a far sail away from here. I imagine your people can travel the plains. They can travel distant spaces. So pass wizards. Do you know what a wizard is? She gives you a look like, don't be condescending. Okay. Well, well, you know, I've never seen any null wizards before. But uh, wizards can do all sorts of crazy stuff when they've got enough books. I wish uh, Yaramir were here. He'd know what to do. Well... Fortunately for his soul, he's not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wherever we are, I don't think there's any help coming. You know, it's part of the DM Breaks character to say that there's no help coming. (laughs) 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 Well, what other options do you have? The Dragon Lair is the last thing on my list. The two Dragon Lairs. All right. Frostbite could have a crystal ball that I've been thinking maybe you know that's the kind of thing that a dragon might like to have a crystal ball right that's a spy on people you know, what would you do with a crystal that. ball if you found one I don't know scry on her back home would that work <laughs> I'm not sure Grimes <laughs> would you would you even know what to do with a crystal ball if you had one right here in front of you um I rub it and say the name of someone I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me think too hard about this, Grimes. We have to have some sort of goal. What do you suggest? Hmm. Grimes sits down. Yeah, sure. This is, you know, Grimes, this is where we started. Right outside the Scrags. We were sat in this more or less the same spot. I thought it was all over back then. Maybe it was. Maybe it is. Maybe this is the end of the world. If I'm dead and this is hell, then where's (laughs) Faris? That might be the only saving grace for you to know that it's not hell. Yeah. Uh, Maybe there's a second layer to this. (laughs) Yeah. Cannibals and kin slayers. Yeah, maybe we've not fucked up that badly. We don't have to go where he's gone. The only other people to speak to are the Frost Giants, but I'm not sure they're going to be our biggest fan. They um, probably won't know what we did, but... Well, where to go? Where to go? This is the King's Tomb. It's near here. The Frost Giants' Tomb? Oh, yeah. No, the King's Tomb, right. It's where that giant flaming spear orb thing oh, was. Oh, yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Frost Giants are... Up here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, there it is, yeah. That's the graveyard, that's the hall. So there's the King's Tomb, the Frost Giants, the Dragon Lairs. Cross off the orb because I guess all the scrags are also flooded with lava. Yeah. Maybe we're inside the orb. Didn't you oh. say that you watched the strike get sucked into it? Hmm. Maybe we all got sucked into it. I hope not. Maybe all of Caldonia got sucked into the the orb. Yeah, well, how big was this orb, Grimes? That's in summary. Likely. (laughs) (laughs) Call yourself a doctor, eh? I don't know. (laughs) So on you go? I I don't know. Yeah. Where? To where? I'm trying to think through the motivation for our characters, but I think we'd go landmark hopping, right? Like this yeah. King's Tomb seems like a reasonable destination, as reasonable a destination as any. I don't. Yeah. Grimes p- picks himself up and wipes the dust off his trousers and, uh. 
I don't think we're ready to roll over and die yet, so we keep walking. No, All we're right. gonna have to go about this. Uh, if we cross here and then cross here, yeah, we should be okay. Yeah. All right, so... Do you remember what was in here? There was like... Wasn't there um, some weird puzzle where we had to... cut our hands and bleed on the stone or something? Was this the one with the air, earth, fire, and water? Yeah. You guys arrive in this tomb. Uh, the knoll stays outside with the dogs and the kobolds, leaving you guys to come in and sort out your business. Okay. Uh, uh, it's all pitch block. Yeah, we yeah, it's because have... your token's not assigned to for some really reason. We don't have light sources, do we? Do our flaming blades shed enough light to see by? Mine does, definitely. Yeah, right. totally. Yeah. I don't think, do my ethereal no. flames illuminate? There you go. Can you see now, William? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you're, yeah, yours don't shed enough light to see by. William's do. Yeah. Uh, so this is where the, this is where the puzzle is, this room. And it starts firing lightning bolts out, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you remember how to solve it, Grimes? Maybe it's still unlocked from last time. It was... Yeah. Required offerings of air, earth, fire, water. Sword, blood fire. And blood and sand and... Breath. Flame yeah. and... Breath. That sounds right. Let's try it. All right. I, uh, moment you both move in, the, the trap goes off yet. again. Is, does it go off separating William and I? Uh, no, it doesn't. It waits for, for us both to move in. So you're not Sorry, sure what the, the impetus is, but you do move in. And once you're both, you know, around here-ish, the trap goes off, but you're immediately put, you know, you blow on it, you sprinkle some sand yeah. on it, you bring your blade to it. What's your water source? Blood. Blood. Yeah. You cut yourself know. and um, bleed on it. That's fine. I think the so. trap immediately disables itself. I'm not even bother be. with all the, the individual mechanics and the lightning strikes, because you can do okay. it in less than a round. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep moving. We might as well scour this place now that we've got the time. Uh, yeah, we've got to walk along here as well. Oh, what was... Th oh, damn. This was the... Uh, you have to not double up on any other... Yeah, you can't step on the same thing twice. Your tokens are too large, but I think... Yeah. Hmm. Like this... Uh, wait, no, we stuck now. No, yeah, that doesn't work. Work? Uh, the crown would be twice. We need to get a wheel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think thing might work, right? Um, yeah. Shield, totally. dragon bow, compass, spear, hammer, sword, crown. Yeah, that's yeah. unique. Yep. You find is there the more path. than one solution, or is that the only? There are path? multiple solutions. Yeah. yeah. You find the path. You follow it. No problem. You move on been here before you've done this before the only difference is you're more alone this time yeah we've actually got more friends this time outside <laughs> but yeah <laughs> uh oh yeah this weird crown naga is that is it but still it, here still dead it's here it's I still bet dead you we, i bet nothing. you if we put the mask on this thing it would come to life 
luckily. I think it's lost. Should we smash it? If Good Faris was here, here, he'd have to smash it. <laughs> Remember when he started attacking those gargoyles on the church? Or on the temple in, uh, church in, uh, Swampside? Times. I think the, uh, the, or the king's burial room was up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this place, there's nothing in here last time, so I don't know why we think it'll be any difference, but... Is it all as we left it? Like, um, almost. Like, almost. were there, I'm trying to remember if there were encounters, like, are there bodies where we, is there a sphere flaming in this room? There is no sphere flaming in this room, actually. Hmm. Is there anything resembling, like, my impression was that it was maybe like a metal dome that had some eternal flame cast, spell cast on it. There is no such thing here. Is there a sarcophagus? Yep, and it's opened or shut. However it was that you left it, it is still in the same state. Still got the body in there. So However you left it, it's in the exact same yeah. state, yeah. We removed the lid and there's a body inside. Mm-hmm. With, we loot, did we loot, we, I think we left the king's treasures. He had like a rather paltry adornments on him. Like a couple, it was like a couple GP worth of. I didn't notice this last time. But is that stuff written on the ground over here? Yeah, you know what? There are maybe a couple of, maybe some letterings on the ground, but it's in old Caledonian, which you couldn't read before. We can't know. know. Yeah, it's really faint. Um, you can maybe work out a pronunciation for it and Grimes can figure it out. Uh, I guess you're going to get some sort of broken message about here lies something something Caldonia the Great something something eternal something war. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know. King Calden. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't really help us, Grimes. There were bodies in some of these alcoves, if I remember correctly. There Not are sarcophagi here. left. Would you like to go opening them and digging around in them? I remember last time, I think an undead came out, but we can probably try one, right? You can handle one mummy. Yeah, let's see what it is. I'll open this one in front of us. Okay. Let me just look up my ancient notes from a thousand years ago. Hmm. 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 Um, Tomb of the King. No, not that tomb of the king. There were multiple king's tombs, right? Yeah. You know, Grimes, there was never any gear in that guy's sarcophagus, right? What if, um, what if there's like a secret room or something where they kept all this stuff? Or maybe that's like not the real body or something. Or maybe they didn't bury the king with all of his useful shit. Yeah, but th that is what people tend to do though, isn't it? Do you think maybe it's worth looking around for secret doors, handles, things like that? I don't know. I feel like we already did that. Did we? I pull out my gem of true seeing, at least where I'm standing, and circle around. Didn't we? I mean, we tried to go back through a lot of these tombs. Yeah, we did. With the gem of true seeing. Okay. Yeah. So we missed anything. But... So you open that tomb, and yeah. out of it comes a wraith. Let's roll oh, what for the initiative. Fuck, Neil, really? A wraith. Holy shit. Hey, man, yes. you started opening tombs, all right? Who do you want to blame for this? Um, in fact, before we roll initiative, why don't we go to our first break, and when we come back, the party will battle the wraith that has just popped out of their tomb. We'll see you, you guys. You me, I swear to God. All right, see you later. See you guys on the other side of the break. <laughs> 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 